Welcome to Lab 9, Telescopes and Microscopes. For this setup, we have the light source all the way at one end of the optical bench. An objective lens, this is the plus 5 diopter lens. And an eyepiece lens, the plus 17 diopter lens. Now I'll point out, you won't be able to measure the power of this plus 17 with the lensometer because it's too strong of a lens. But we'll measure its focal length later on in the lab. One difference for this lab is you'll actually be looking through the optical system, so you don't need a screen at this end yet. The eyepiece will be where you view the system and look directly at the image of the light source through this two-lens optical system. I'm going to start out with the objective back a little farther than um, I need it to be, and I'm going to look through the lens, we'll see how well this works, at the light source. You can see that it's not in focus now. As I bring this in closer, the objective lens, and we begin to see a clear image in there through the eyepiece. Now it's pretty bright, and I'll turn the contrast down. You can see that now there's a clear inverted image. So I'm going to get back it away and bring it closer. First time I see it in focus, that's where I want to leave this set up. Now I can compare the height through this, and I want to be viewing this from where, you know, about this distance, this is about 10 or 15 centimeters away, where that image fills my view uh, within the eyepiece. I can compare by swinging out to the side. You can see now the light source way down at the other end of the bench, that looks, looks fairly small. Back through the eyepiece. Now again, see it to be fairly large. So that's a consequence of the angular magnification that's happening. Here's another view. This is a view of the inverted image through the telescope. I'm looking through the eyepiece and through the objective. There's a view just with the unaided eye, or unaided phone in this case, to compare the height. So again, through the telescope, not through the telescope. In part two, you'll want to measure the object height as well as the object distance to your eye. So include the viewing distance there to you where your eye was in order to calculate the initial angle. We call that theta E for your reference viewing condition. And then you can find the image height formed by the objective. I'm going to hold up a post-it here. And there's an intermediate image right here formed by the objective. Find that clear image. Find that clear image, measure that image height and the distance from this image to the eyepiece, and you can calculate theta 1, which is close to theta m, and those will be used to calculate the angular magnification of the telescope. In part 3, I'll use autocollimation to find the focal length of the plus 17 diopter lens. For part 3, I've built a simple microscope which is a single plus 17 diopter lens. The focal length I've measured from autocollimation plus 16 centimeters is the lens to screen distance. And then I put the object uh, just outside of the focal length and then move it around to find a clear image on the screen. At that point, I can measure the object height, uh, sorry, the object height over here on the light source and the image height and I can calculate the lateral magnification from that. For part four, I'm gonna convert this simple magnifier into compound microscope by removing the screen and placing the eyepiece and I'll look through that eyepiece. So this eyepiece will be the 10 diopter lens. And then I'm gonna start with it farther away and bring it closer as I look through from this side to find a clear image. This is a rough estimate of what it will look like through the eyepiece. Again, you'll start with the eyepiece too far away and move it closer. And when you first see the image come into focus, that's where you'll stop. So I'll start with this too far away. As I bring it closer, I'll start to see this come into focus. And you'll probably only be able to see a small portion of that object. Again, I've moved the object light source so that I can just see the arrowhead part. To make a rough comparison, I'm going to view this object from the standard near point distance of 25 centimeters. I'm going to do that by holding the phone here at 25 centimeters. And that gives you a view of what this object 
looks like from a distance of 25 centimeters.